Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn the how to draw orthographic view any three-dimensional drawing. So this is our three-dimensional drawing, right? So we have to convert it into two-dimensional drawing. So let's start. So this is the direction of observer which is given over here. So observer is observing from this side. So this would be my front view. And for a side view, observer has to view from this side so that observer can get maximum information about the object, right? So observer is observing from left hand side. So this is why this is my left hand side view. So first of all, first step is we have to identify the relative position of front view and side view in first angle projection system. So this is my front view. If I draw my front view over here, then I have to draw my left hand side view beside my front view and the top view should be below the front view right so this is my uh, relative position of front view and side view so let's start drawing with the front view but before that we have to identify the maximum dimension of the object so the length of the object is we have to start from this edge from this edge to center this is a 25 right so from center to this age 45 25 plus 45 uh, 70 plus from this age to again center of this circle 70 plus 20 90 and from this age to this age extreme age 90 plus 25 that is again 115 so length is 115 uh, in front view vertical dimension is a height so in the front view vertical dimension is uh, this is 15 up to that again this is again 30 so 45 vertical height is 45 and horizontal dimension in a side view is your uh, breadth width so in a side view when we see from this this radius is 25 so total is 50 millimeters so maximum breadth is 50 right so i hope you understand the concept how to find out the maximum dimension of the object let's start drawing its front view so before that let's uh, set the reference first so draw one horizontal line over here let's uh, take a reference of uh, edge of the page let's say this is my horizontal line draw one vertical line over here and take a reference of this edge now we first make a rectangle of length equal to 115 and uh, height equal to 45 for drawing our front view so let's say length is equal to 115 so this is my 115 take a reference of this line then 115 so this must be a very light line right so this is 115 take a reference of this line height equal to 45 and complete this rectangular blocks right now let's start with one of the corner first so let's start with this corner if we uh, this is the cylindrical part right so that is represented in 2d as a rectangle so from this point we have to move 15 millimeter in vertical side vertical direction so in height so from this point we have to move 15 so this is my 15 we have reached up to this now again this is the curved edge which is also represented in front view as a straight line so we have to draw this straight line 
from this point to this point and the distance between that is uh, this is 25 so it is projected on this uh, straight line so it becomes 25 plus 45 so that would be around 70 so from this point onwards we have to move horizontally 70 millimeter so let's say this is my 70 millimeter we have reached up to this point now from this point we have to move vertical upward up to 30 millimeter so from this point to this point the height is 30 so again take a reference of any line that you have drawn and draw a vertical line over here so, so we have reached up to this point again from this point to this point this is a curved edge that is again represented as a straight line in front view so the uh, total length projected length of this curved edge plus this is equivalent to 20 plus 25 that is around 45 so from this to this that is equivalent to 45 we have to draw a straight line then onwards i have to make it visible line this is the boundary of my front view right now next next task is uh, locate the center line if there is any circular entity available in the object so we have two circle over here let's locate the center of this uh, circle and center of this circle so if you look at the center of this point or circle so it is at a distance of 25 from this extreme edge isn't it so and again from this extreme edge this radius is 25 so center of the circle is at a distance of 25 from this extreme edge so from both the extreme edge the distance of uh, circle circle's center is at a distance of 25 this is my 25 and uh, this is my 25 5. let's draw the center line take a reference of this and draw the center line Generally, we draw center line slightly outside the object. Again, take a reference of this and draw a center line. Right now, we have to draw this uh, hidden hole that would be drawn using hidden line. So, radius of this hidden hole is a uh, 14 millimeter. So, from center line, uh, from center line, take a radius distance equal to 14 on both the side and draw using hidden line. So let's say this is my center line and this is the 14 millimeter over here and this is the 14 millimeter over here draw the hidden line darkness of the hidden line should also be same as a visible line draw the another hidden line And similar way this circle has a radius 11 from center line 11 millimeter, uh, 11 millimeter on both of these sides so from center line this is 10 and this is 11 10 and 11 and draw a center line we have completed most of the part of the front view again this edge is still remaining right so this wave is uh, uh, represented as a straight line in a front view because this edge is only visible right so the position of this point is given 30 millimeter from this edge so from this point mark a point at 30 millimeter and join with this corner point so let's say this is my 30 millimeter point mark and join that with the corner point so this is my complete front view of, of a particular object now dimensioning is remaining 
so we can do the dimensioning according to uh, the uh, requirement and you have to remove unnecessary part or unnecessary line that you have drawn or used as a construction line for creating this object so i hope you understand the concept how i had drawn this front view of the object uh, we'll draw the another view in the next video please do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video thank you